On this Good Shepherd Sunday 2022, we reflect on to listen and follow Christ so as to have eternal life. What is the origin of this image, Good Shepherd? How can one distinguish the real voice of a Good Shepherd today? What are the two clear, specific, and distinguished characteristics of a real disciple that belongs to the flock of the Good Shepherd? To begin with, every fourth Sunday of Easter, we celebrate one, Christ as our Good Shepherd. Two, Vocation Sunday, that is, vocation to priesthood, vocation to religious life, and marriage life. What could be the origin of the image Good Shepherd? According to some theological studies, the foundation of this image, the Good Shepherd, finds its origin in the Judaism traditions and culture. Moreover, in the Jewish culture and traditions, shepherds for the flock of sheep were highly respected, valued, and considered in the society. In order to justify concretely these claims, let us look at some few persons in the First Testament, such as Abraham, who was a shepherd, Moses, who was a shepherd, and David too, just to mention a few. In addition to that, some of the very distinguishable capabilities of a shepherd was, one, a shepherd protects his flock. Two, a shepherd would lead his flock. And finally, a shepherd would listen to his flock. In this perspective, the image of a shepherd is also applied to God, particularly by the people of Israel, simply because it is God who led them out of Egypt, protected them while crossing the Red Sea, and again provided for them while crossing the wilderness by giving them manna as food. On the other hand, the image of the Good Shepherd is also applied to Christ first and foremost by himself when he says, I am the Good Shepherd, John chapter 10, verse 11. And secondly, through his relationship to us. From this, we can conclude that the image of Christ as the Good Shepherd has been ever since loved and cherished by Christians of all walks of life over the centuries up to today. What are the two characteristics of a sheep that belong to the Good Shepherd? Before that, let us remember that on this Good Shepherd Sunday, the image of a Good Shepherd and the flock of sheep is related to us as far as care, love, and protection is concerned. Indeed, these three aspects are the ones emphasized through this image of a good shepherd. Again, according to chapter 10, verse 11 of the Gospel of St. John, Christ declares himself as the good shepherd. Hence, he is more than just an image. Nevertheless, coming back to the two characteristics of a sheep, we can identify the usage of sheep here represents the disciples of Christ, who are, in this case, Christians. And the shepherd is Christ according to the passage of today. Briefly, the two main characteristics or capabilities of a disciple who belongs to the good shepherd are, one, to listen, and two, to follow. To listen. I presuppose that to have two ears and one mouth would mean that one listens more and speaks less. For example, after having listened to my YouTube homily frequently, you can identify my voice with me even if you listen to my voice without seeing my video. As a condition, in order to have this capability to identify me, you must have listened repeatedly to my 
Sunday Mass homilies first. Now, how many times do you listen to Christ, the Good Shepherd? If you listen to Christ, the Good Shepherd, once in a while or once per year, especially on Easter Sunday or Christmas Day only, you may have difficulties to identify him by the voice. When you read the Bible once in a blue moon, you may have great difficulties to listen to the will of God through his holy word. When you have family prayers once in a while, you may have great difficulties in understanding the needs of one another. As far as vocations is concerned, discover your vocation by listening to the voice of Christ who calls you through many means such as his holy word, Eucharistic celebrations, and through his messengers. A true vocation is discovered when one continuously listens to Christ, meaning even after having become a priest or a religious or a husband or a wife, you need to listen to Christ. When you listen frequently to Christ, the Good Shepherd will know you and you will know him intimately. The second capability for a disciple who belongs to Christ the Good Shepherd is to follow. After having listened and identified the voice of a Good Shepherd, one takes another step that is to follow him so as to have eternal life. There is an African proverb that says, the sheep that is lost does not respond to the voice of his shepherd. To listen to Christ is completed by the actual steps such as following him by caring, protecting, loving, and forgiving one another. In a general way, the image of a good shepherd also applies in our daily life through the leaders we have today. For example, Whenever we encourage, we care and love our fellow men and women, we are shepherding one another as disciples of Christ. However, our world today is full of many, many bad shepherds who manifest outside as good shepherds, but inside them, they are purely wolves that even squander their children. In order to come out of that, we need to listen and follow Christ as our good shepherd so as to have eternal life. To conclude, on this Good Shepherd Sunday 2022, we are invited to listen and follow Christ, the good shepherd, so as to have eternal life. Amen. Have a blessed Sunday.